Once we're out in the field and ready to start shooting, we need to assemble our iPad video kit. So these are all the components laid out here on the table. Um, we'll start with attaching our iPad to a tripod. Um, so what we need first is the tripod plate. This is going to vary a little bit by the type of tripod you have, but it should be a fairly standard, what we call a quarter 20 mounting screw. Um, this is the adapter that we're going to use to attach our iPad today. Um, and in my case, this just has a finger, uh, finger tightening set screw here, which is easy to use. Make sure that's good and tight. We can slide our iPad into our tripod mount. Um, make sure that the camera is facing upwards. And depending on which exact clip you get, the style of how it mounts uh, may be slightly different. But the general idea is we want this nice and tight, all tied together between the tripod mount, our clip, and our iPad itself. And then we can go ahead and clip that in like so. Make sure if, you're, if your tripod has a locking mechanism, make sure you set that. The rest of these components that we have in front of us are all audio related. Um, so what we have is our our preamp and audio um, control, our microphone itself, and our adapter to attach that to our iPad. So basically, with all these, you just kind of chain them up, plug them together. Um, and in this case, uh, this goes into the lightning cable. If you have a microphone that doesn't require our preamp, you're probably going to plug that right into the headphone jack. Um, in our case, because um, we want some better sound quality and a little bit more control, we're going to use the preamp. And then here's our microphone itself. Um, this is just a basic wired lapel mic, and so we can hook that up. Um, this particular preamp has two different um, inputs, so we're just going to go into input A here. So one more thing to note as we're hooking up our uh, preamp and our microphone is that this particular preamp, this Tascam, has a few different settings that we want to double check. So as I mentioned, we have two different inputs, so if we're doing a two-person interview, that's really convenient because we can plug in two microphones. But if we're just interviewing one person, um, we only need one, and so we want to make sure the, that the inputs are set appropriately. So in this case, I've attached my microphone to input A, and I want the switch flipped to input A. The other settings down here are plug-in power for both A and B. Um, what that means is are we going to draw power from the iPad to power this microphone? In this case, because we have battery power separately, we don't need to, so those should be set to off. Limiter link can be set to off, and mono sum can be set to off. If you find out that you're not hearing sound through the microphone, everything else is set up properly. You can go ahead and toggle through um, some of these switches. Depending on your specific microphone, you may need to adjust things like the plug-in power um, or the mono sum. But typically, most of the rest of this is set to off, and then we're just selecting our proper input. And then as we record, the, other, the, the nice benefit of this device is that we can adjust the levels. So that's these little wheels right here. Um, and then we have about 20 feet of cord. I'm not going to unroll it right now, but we have 20 feet of cord here so we can um, easily set our, our talent, our subject, um, a good distance back from the microphone, just unroll the cord. Um, the other thing to double check on here is that the microphone is actually set to on. Um, and then at the end of the interview, we want to also make sure that we switch it off. Um, and then this lapel mic, once we unroll it, just clips on um, like so. So that's our most of our audio setup. The last thing that we want to do is plug in our headphones so we can actually listen to the interview. Um, and even if we can't real-time monitor, when we first set this up and start rolling, we want to record a clip. Uh, make sure the sound is set to the proper levels, we're getting good inputs, um, and that we're actually hearing our subject appropriately. So we'll go ahead and plug these in right here. And that's basically the, uh, the hardware setup. I think we're ready to roll.